They say that battle changes you. It makes you stronger. A monster in the night. Watching. Learning. Hunting. Each time I enter the pit, I emerge reborn. Put the devil on the other side, and I will show up. Evolved. Adapted. And prepared. To fight. de sus representantes militares locales. Miembros de la Guardia Nacional, reportar a su general adjunto que no cunda el pánico. Que no se...
she's back. Morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. You have a 9 a.m. appointment with Alex in his office. There is no duration set for this meeting. There is a 3 p.m. meeting in Transtar Conference Room A to greenlight research and development plans. Please confirm your attendance prior to arrival. The most recent test results. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. You have a 9 a.m. appointment with Alex in his office. There is no Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Good morning, Morgan. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. next. She is 
no one. When they told me to raise you, I didn't ask questions. Why am I an outcast? Who was my mother? Always you pushed for answers. Push yourself to the edge. Here in the valley, we may be outcasts, but it's safe. Out there, girl, you'll be lost. You won't know where to turn or who to trust. You'll be chasing a riddle into a wilderness of mysteries. The world of the Old Ones. What secrets lie buried beneath their crumbling ruins? Why Earth is ours no more? are worse than not knowing. You can help? Or you can get out of my way. Then be ready for the darkness. And be careful what you bring to light. Even if you do catch what you're after, how do you know it won't bite? Outcast! You came from nothing. You will die a nothing. I came from somewhere. Identity confirmed. Even if it destroys me, I will see this through.
Clock's ticking. We take staff and go down to cellars. Exit somewhere there. Hurry up, John. Wasting time. Okay, done. Что там у тебя, Нормально, тут пацаны постреляют. Мы удачно зашли. Да тут реальный импортный залез. Я, бля, блок последний раз в кино видал. Дальнего ты проверял? Да погонь ты. Ща, ща. Italian 1944 is a World War II multiplayer first-person shooter coming to PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Italian recaptures the core of classic multiplayer shooters, utilizing the most advanced industry technology to propel World War II into the next generation of video games. Italian gives gamers a visceral and heart-thumping experience, crafted by designers who've grown up playing games like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. It just seems like the right time because it's something we want to play and something that doesn't exist, so why wouldn't you just make it? We want to design a game that goes back to what we wanted when we were kids, the things we were playing that we were enjoying. In Call of Duty 2 we had these, these tight maps that were really good for like close quarters, gritty combat. They really worked with the Thompson and with Car 98, one-shot rifles, that stuff all came together so well. But we have a team that's ready to take on the challenge of building a World War II shooter. We're comprised of ex-AAA developers, ex-modders, and ex-esports professionals. We're using the combined talent of our in-house and freelance artists to create the most authentic, down-the-barrel experience of World War II using the power of Unreal Engine 4. We've been working with Unreal Engine from the start, so that means that we're ready. We're ready for anything new that is going to come in, like DirectX 12 and all of the foliage features. I think players will find it refreshing that they're experiencing things that they've experienced as a child or perhaps have nostalgia about, but they're experiencing it in beautiful high fidelity. I think the technology has moved on so much in the past 10 years. Things look beautiful now in a way that they didn't before. Authenticity is at the heart of the time, from weapons to environments to sounds. Being here in Normandy, we've built up a huge library of reference material from small things like the sound a Thompson actually makes when you run out of ammunition all the way to taking reference photos of St. Mary Glees. Being able to see St. Mary Glees before you design a level around it gives us a huge design advantage. Uh, it, it gives players a more authentic World War II experience, which ultimately is what we want. When we animate our soldiers using mocap, it makes Battalion's animations more genuine, authentic, and just way more real. Not many World War II games have used this technology before. Not many game artists are given the opportunity to visit the actual places that their levels take place in a game. 
Um, it's something very tangible about it. it. It sounds strange, but being able to take your environments to sort of the next level of authenticity, it's something players might not notice, but when you're doing something like physically based rendering like we are, it really takes the whole visual fidelity of the game to the next level. We want to create a fair battleground with dedicated servers, anti-cheat software, solid netcode, balanced weapons, and great asymmetric map design. Battalion's maps are designed around our skill-based infantry combat. The maps will be based on real-world locations, such as Carantan, Hurkham Forest, Bastogne, and St. Mary Glees, just to name a few. One aspect missing from most modern FPS games is there's something we saw in classic shooters, such as Call of Duty 2, Counter-Strike, and Day of Defeat, is that those games took raw skill to master to be good at, and they didn't rely as much on time play. We're stripping out unbalanced unlocks, overpowered abilities, just to try and reinstate the fun and the skill in the game. Players will be able to add individuality to their characters and weapons in multiple ways. For instance, gun engraving, custom clan insignias, and uniform customization, all within Battalion's authentic World War II style. These unlocks offer no gameplay breaking advantages, but will instead offer unique visual modifications. We have this epic down the barrel experience that can only really be made by the game designers who grew up playing with Medal of Honor, United Offensive and Enemy Territory. We want to make maps that favour all kind of ranges and actually make it so that you have to play that map to your style. To give backers opportunity for feedback, we'll be live streaming development meetings and playtests and providing regular updates to keep you in the loop. If you want to play a classic World War II shooter that's being made for the modern generation, now is the time to support the development of Battalion 1944 by pledging towards our Kickstarter campaign. Please take a look at our numerous backer rewards and feel free to visit our social media pages via our website at battaliongame.com. That's him. Marcus Holloway. Time him. Too late, he's in. Who is he? That's the guy who could help us change the world. Welcome to Dead Suck. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh. This weirdo's Wrench. And this is Horatio. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Bloom's ETOS is like a giant spider web, endlessly gathering data. They're making backroom deals to trade our private information. We have to stop this. We're talking data manipulation on a massive scale. Rigged elections, weapons programs, spying into people's homes. All of it controlled by one man, Bloom's CTO. Dushan Nemec. Wait, so all these companies just agreed to up and funnel all their data through Bloom? Does anyone else find that suspicious? And all that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. This is systemic injustice at its highest level. Let's show them what going to war with us really means. I'm gonna break it down like this, 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 this. I'm gonna break it down like this, 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 this. I wanna introduce you to Raymond Kinney. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son. Don't go near dead sec. They're my responsibility. That, my friend, is CQS without any makeup. A few civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. <laughs> You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people, they don't care how it works, only that it does. Namaste. <laughs> Nice hat.
Nice mask. Okay, we're good. <laughs>